Well, we provide a, a number of health promotional, uh, nursing, volunteer, and outreach services. Uh, some examples would be nurse visits by our community nurse for uh, the seniors that tend to have more pressing medical and health issues. We've uh, really expanded our food distribution and delivery services uh, in response to the pandemic. We got an emergency grant last year from Trellis for Title III B services, and that's for homemaker and special access services. And we hired Ahmed, our Somali elders coordinator at the end of September. So we were in the process of hiring for it, but it helped, uh, it helped us secure enough funding to actually move forward. And that was a critical step forward to enhancing our services to Somali elders. The seniors are very you know, specific about when it comes to food and where they're getting from that food culturally. So we connected with, we collaborated with a halal, local halal supermarket and they were able to deliver those specific meals to the Somali community, uh, such as halal meat, a uh, food that they're familiar with. So uh, ha us having that conversation, we figured that out there was, a, you know, uh, a huge need of uh, food security. There was a huge need of personal practice. Uh, there was also um, uh, this situation where was, there's isolation, so there was a lack of communication. Year, what we have learned is that how important it is to uh, have a technology, access to have a technology. Uh, what we have learned, especially the Somali senior community, is that there were a lot of isolation and then there was a lack of knowing uh, how to use that technology or not even having access to that technology. I have been with the organization a year now, uh, so, um, so and my, my, it's my job to uh, do the outreach and assess the needs and the ones in that community. I think the organization values my position and they are absolute, absolutely committed working with uh, diverse communities, especially serving Somali seniors. We know that there is um, um, a diabetes is it's, it's in, in Somali community. It's a concerning, it's a big thing. And a lot of them express that they're interested, you know, um, um, having a classes or a training around that. Uh, what to eat and you know uh, what is healthy and 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 classes like that so um, those are the things that we wanted to uh, try to work with before the COVID and everything changed of course after the COVID so it's something that we're keeping in the future. Yeah.